Alrighty, welcome to a quick little video I wanted to do on the brand new mod that Star GT just released today, and that is the Porsche Cabin GT4. Now with your keen eye, you'll probably see that it's actually called the Rough RK Spider, but this is actually the Porsche Cabin GT4 3D model on the Rough RK Spider, which it's what's what it's supposed to replace. Now, as you can see, the model looks absolutely amazing. The model is actually from Forza Horizon 3 and Assetto Corsa. I don't know what parts have been taken from which game, but I'm pretty sure the main body has been taken out of Forza Horizon 3. And so has, was the interior, and there probably are a couple other bits as well that were taken off as well, but that's beside the point. Now, uh, looking at the model, it looks absolutely amazing. It's gorgeous, it looks fantastic, it looks superb. The rims as well look absolutely amazing. It has its own brake calipers, it has its own brake discs as well, and yeah, very, very nice. As you, uh, you can actually see that the text is actually inverted on that part, but I don't think you can really do anything about that. You can't really fix that, to be honest. But yeah, the model looks superb, as you can see. The interior actually has the GT4 logo on there, which is awesome. Now, uh, looking at the taillights, as you can see, the taillights look absolutely amazing as well. Again, rear rims are the same. The whole entire model actually looks absolutely amazing. And of course it has a custom license plate, and if you look closely you'll see that it says September version Auto Pack 1.9. This is actually going the car is actually going to be released in Auto Pack version 1.9 in the future. Which I don't know when that's honestly going to happen. But it will happen eventually. So let's open up the doors. As you can see the doors open. The windows also roll up and down, but since this car replaces the roof RK spider which has no roof, the windows stay down for some reason. Now let's get into the car. As you can see, the car just looks uh, really amazing in the interior as well. The gauges work. Where's the horn? There it is. As, of course, the rear visibility is perfectly fine, but you actually have to switch the camera to be the rough RGT in this case, because for some reason, the rough RK Spider's interior camera doesn't work for this car. So let's take a test for a test drive, and I'll show you all the other features that this car has. So as you can see... The HUD gauges look absolutely amazing. Let me actually go to this view real quick and you'll see that it looks absolutely amazing as well. There's actually miles per hour and kilometers per hour on the HUD gauges on this lower one, which is pretty nice. So uh, looking at the lights, lights are on. We have turn and carrier lamp there. Turn and carrier lamp up there as well. The rear ones as well. The tail lights look absolutely amazing, by the way. You can't really see them here. Okay, if you look at it like this, you can see them. There's the brake lights. And... The reverse light looks absolutely amazing as well. If we go to the interior, as you can see, there's also interior turning gear lamps as well. Headlights. The gauges work as well. And the guide grabs a stick shift in the right place. As you can see. And another amazing feature with this car is when you go into reverse, a backup camera appears. Which is an amazing little detail that Star GT did. And I applaud him for that. That's an amazing job that he's done there, just with that little detail right there. And finally, if you do the roof option, that'll take the rear spoiler off. But I would advise against doing that because if you do that, then it just looks like a normal Porsche Cayman. And that's not what this car is. This is a Porsche Cayman GT4, and that rear wing is just special. That just makes this car look special and very, very unique. So overall, I love this mod. Star GT has done a great job with this model. I applaud him. For that, I would actually, I would donate him some money to, for uh, making this mod, because he's done an absolutely amazing job, but sadly I don't have the money right now, and maybe someday I will do a request for another 3D model in the future, which I won't say right now, but yeah. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and uh, you can find this mod to download in the description below. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.